as we look at this 10th commandment, because guess what? It was the 10th commandment. It wasn't the first nine, but it was the 10th commandment. The first characteristic I know is just that this commandment represents a move away from action into the realm of attitude. While breaking all the rest of the commandments has its origin in the heart and mind of man, they all find their ultimate expression in some type of physical activity. This, this commandment is different. While there is evidence of lying, stealing, adultery, murder, other gods, I mean, it, it disobedient the parents, I mean, it taking God's name in vain, making, making, making graven images and having other gods before God, there is usually little or no evidence of any covenants. As a result, this is a sin that is rarely, if ever, confessed. And all up to. In truth, we are all guilty. Right. Oh my God. We are all guilty. Lord help me today. God help me today. I don't want, I don't want him. I don't want no covenants in me. We are all guilty. We just won't admit it to ourselves. Others or even the Lord. Of all the commandments listed, this is probably the one most often broken. And the one that will most really cause you to break the other nine. No, come on, somebody. You got any intent command, but that but it's the number 10 that makes you break the other nine. Watch this, watch this, my God. We will see as we look at the sin, no matter where they need, that covenant is a serious sin and that it need to be confessed and forsaken by every child of God. I didn't say the word. I didn't say the word. Every child of God, every child, everybody that belongs to the Lord, need to check yourself. Amen. Because there's a little covenant in everybody. Oh my God! Come on, somebody! Come on! Come on! I want to show you that it's in you. It's in you. It is in you. 